Hello, welcome back to another On Shape tutorial. Today, in this video, we are going to be going over the birdhouse, how to create the birdhouse. So, uh, at this point in time, I'm assuming that you have already gone through the other 10 lessons for On Shape, so I'm going to be speeding through this a little bit. Um, pay attention, pause the video when you need to. I will try and make all of my moves and, and everything that I'm doing on the screen very obvious, and I should be talking out loud for most of it as well. Let's go ahead and get into it very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my front plane, I'm going to hit my sketch button, I'm going to change my perspective to the front, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a corner rectangle. I'm going to start my corner rectangle down here along this middle line, click once, zoom out a little bit, and then click all the way up here. I'm going to use my dimension tool. I'm going to be using a lot of my keyboard shortcuts right now. So to get my dimension tool started, I'm going to tap the D key. You can see that that automatically turned that on. You can see that I'm tapping my D key over and over to turn that on and off. All right, so I'm going to tap my D key. I'm going to click once on that line, click anywhere in the white space, and then I'm going to set that to 12. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to click anywhere in the white or light blue space. I'm going to click again. I'm going to set that to 5.5. Last thing I'm going to do, because I care about this being centered, I'm going to click on the line where I originally clicked 12. I'm going to click on my middle plane here. I'm going to click after I get those two, and I'm going to change this to 2.75, which is exactly one half of 5.5, okay? I'm going to hit my checkbox. I'm going to change my perspective so that I can see everything again. I no longer want to see the original three planes. I think that they interfere with what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to hit the P key so that I no longer see them. Zoom in on that a little bit. I'm going to click on that new sketch that I made. I'm going to hit extrude. And I'm going to extrude this out 0.75 inches, or in other words, three quarters of an inch. That is exactly how thick the boards are that we are going to be using. So this is important that you make the depth 0.75, okay? All right, so I have my back board. Now I'm going to make my bottom board. I'm going to click on this front. I'm going to go back to the front again. I'm going to click Sketch. I'm going to click rectangle. I'm going to start my rectangle in the lower corner. I'm going to bring the other end of it over here and I'm going to click. I'm going to use my dimension tool. And I'm going to dimension this at 0.75. I'm going to hit my checkbox. I'm going to change my perspective so that I can see how far out I'm moving this. I'm going to say that the depth of this is going to be four inches. So this is going to be a small four inch board here on the bottom, all right? Now, this is where we're going to have something, well, not, not yet, let me get there. All right, so taking a look now, I'm going to select on this bottom one right here. I'm going to hit sketch, I'm going to hit front, I'm going to hit rectangle, lots of rectangles are being used here. I'm going to select this bottom circle, or uh, this bottom corner here. I'm going to drag this up to over here. Notice that I can move this back and forth freely. I'm going to pull my mouse down to here. So I'm hovering over this uh, corner right here. And now when I hover up, my line gets snapped to position, okay? So hover up, I'm going to click dimension, click on that line. I'm going to set that equal to six inches. And then that's the only thing we have to do because the other side is already set to 5.5 inches, okay? I'm going to click on both of these rectangles. Please note that one of these rectangles, they won't both select at the same time, so you have to either select both of them, or I have to go over here and select sketch three, okay? Either way that I do it is fine, but I need the whole thing to be selected. Extrude 0.75, okay? So this is what we should currently have right now. It kind of looks like a hook, okay? I'm going to move over to the side here, and here is where we're going to have a little bit of something unique, okay? I'm going to hit sketch, all right? I am going to make a line, and I'm going to use my line tool instead of my rectangle tool. I'm going to start my line on this corner right here, this corner right here, okay? I'm going to drag it up, and I'm going to connect it anywhere up here. It doesn't matter but it cannot be horizontal like this. It needs to be at an angle, okay? We're gonna come back to that, okay? Once I click there, 
then I'm going to click on my other corners down here until I complete my shape, okay? Remember that you have to bring the line back around to the beginning point for this to be considered a complete shape, okay? I'm going to now take my dimension tool. I'm going to click on this angled line here. And now I'm also going to click on this line right here. What this is going to do is it's going to create what's called an angular constraint, okay? Now this is almost perfectly where we want it, but we're going to make sure that it's where we want it. I'm going to change this to 60 degrees, okay? So that distance is now 60 degrees. I have to do one other thing as well, okay? I'm going to take my line tool again. I'm going to start at this point right here. And the thing that I want you to see is see how my line is snapping to position when I'm lined up perfectly with this original line, okay? So I want it to do that, and I also want to click on this line right here, okay? So I want those both bound together. Boom. And then I'm going to complete a very tiny little triangle right here, and I'm going to show you why we did that in just a moment, okay? So I'm going to hit check. And then let's take a look at the length of this line. It sits at 7.59 inches. Okay, so I'm going to click on that original sketch. So this area of the sketch right here, not the little triangle that we made. We're going to get to that in a moment, okay? I'm going to extrude. I'm going to swap my direction so that's going in, and I'm going to change that to 0.75, okay? I should hit check, and you should see this be one whole thing. Now, we're going to need that little triangle back, but you see that it's disappeared on us. Over here on the side panel, what should be your sketch number four, okay? Go here and click the little eye with the slash through it. That's going to make that sketch visible again. I'm going to zoom in on my little corner here. I'm going to click it. I'm going to hit extrude. I'm going to hit remove. And instead of blind, I'm going to say through all. Okay, so I here's what I did. Okay, so that you see in this little box, I clicked on this down arrow right here, and I'm going to go from blind to through all. Okay, and I'm going to hit check. Now I'm going to make that sketch invisible again, and there we have it. Okay, so I have four out of my six sides, so we're doing pretty good. I'm going to swap over to the other side, I'm going to click on this, I'm going to click sketch. And now there's less steps that we have to take this time around. I'm going to click on my corner right here again. There's no way to get it to link up to this line right here. So I'm just going to shove this up here. And then like I did last time, I'm going to connect all four points. Okay. Hit my dimension tool. Click my line. Click the straight line over here. Click so that there's a degrees. And I'm going to hit 60. And that's all I have to do. Then I can just, whoop, hold on, click extrude i hit my keyboard shortcut to do to do that called shift e shift e is the shortcut to extrude i'm going to swap the directions i'm going to change this to 0.75 and there we have it okay two more things that we have to do one we have to make the roof two we have to make the hole okay so in order to make the roof to our little birdhouse here i'm going to click on the side of my sketch again okay so i'm going to click sketch i'm going to bring it over here to the left I'm going to do a couple of unique little things here, so please pay close attention. I'm going to click on my line tool, okay? I'm going to make a very short line that is, like, perfectly bound up with this line here. So you should see that orange highlight. You should see the little T symbol appear. All right, so I'm going to click. I'm going to drag my mouse down to about here. I'm going to drag my mouse so that this line and this line are perpendicular. Remember that perpendicular means that they're at a perfect 90 degree right angle, okay? So I'm going to drag my new line here so that these two are perpendicular. I'm then going to take my other line and link it back up with the beginning, okay? Now, we need to do a little bit of correction here. Once again, we're aiming for a 60 degree angle, so I'm going to click on my line right here. I'm going to click on this line over here. You'll notice that that doesn't say 60 degrees, and that is fine. Remember, if you've taken geometry, or if you haven't, it's okay. There are these things called supplementary and complementary angles. When I change this to 120, that's the same thing as saying the angle between this line 
and this line is also 60 degrees, okay? So really doesn't matter which way you do it, just as long as the angle is correct, okay? And I'll do it both ways. So I need to change this one to 60 degrees as well. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this line right down here, and I'm going to change this to, you guessed it, 0.75, because that is the thickness that we are dealing with. Ah, one other thing that I forgot to do as well. I am going to change this top line here to exactly 7 inches, okay? So, 7 inch top line, 0.75 down here, 60 or 120, whichever way works for you, okay? Hit check, click on this, hit extrude, switch the sides, this should be 5.5, and it is. There we go, we have the roof to our birdhouse. It's looking pretty good, but a birdhouse is no good if a bird can't get into it, so I'm going to click on my front, go to the front, click sketch, click my circle tool. I'm going to use my middle point that I set up earlier, and I'm going to make a circle right here. does not matter the size. We're going to fix it right now. I'm going to click my dimension tool and then click anywhere in the white or blue area. I'm going to change this to 1 plus parentheses, 5 slash 8 parentheses. That is 1 and 5 eighths of an inch when I hit enter. Boom. The other thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to click on my middle point. I'm going to click on my bottom line, and I'm going to set that at exactly 4 inches. Hit check, click my circle, shortcut for extrude, hit remove, and I don't need to adjust anything. I'm just going to hit check. And now we have a birdhouse. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me during class, or if I'm not currently there, just send me an email. Otherwise, you have successfully made the birdhouse. Get this turned into canvas, and then I will get you going on your birdhouse. All right, have a good day.